Well, welcome to Thought for the Day. Terry talked yesterday about the dangers of a critical spirit, how critical words and a, pat a pattern particularly of, of saying things that uh, put others down can do enormous amounts of harm to a church community. And I completely agree with him, it's something I've experienced, I'm sure it's something I've been part of. Uh, I've certainly seen it, seen it from a distance as well. Um, but the puzzle, the question really that, that arises in my mind is, no one wants to cause that sort of hurt and division to other people. No one wants to cause uh, a church to, to be like that. So, so why is it? What, what's the root cause of this? Where does it come from? Uh, I think Terry highlighted the problem. Uh, he, uh, but, but we can't, we don't change just by being told to change. We need, we need something deeper to happen. And as I thought more about it, I realized that there's really two, two main roots of that, that critical spirit that Terry was talking about. I'm going to talk about uh, one next time, but the one I want to talk about today is, is insecurity. Now you might find that a bit surprising because surely people who, who know they're right, aren't they the most critical of all? And, and one of the, the saddest ways a church can become, it can be a group of people who've, who've found ways of doing things. They may have, but there may be some, some quite good ways of doing things, but they've found their ways of doing things and their goal is to make others the same, make others behave the same way as them. Now, of course, Jesus did uh, call us to make disciples and teach them to obey everything that he taught his followers. But what was it he taught them? Well, he taught them to, to love, love their neighbour, to put others first, the interests of others before their own, to go the extra mile with someone who was demanding. To, to pray for those pray for those who hurt you not, not to not to display your your righteousness to others and not to to be concerned about about anything in this world not not to judge and so obeying what Jesus taught isn't a matter of, of keeping a set of rules becoming like a group of people it's about a freedom, a freedom from being from being dependent on others' behaviour, for our own sense of self-worth. Jesus' teaching wasn't about being good. It was about it was about that 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 freedom, that freedom. And the critical spirit of, is is just the opposite, isn't it? The critical spirit says things are not okay unless he or she does that. In fact, I'm not okay if he forgets to do that or she does that or she behaves in that way. Or uh, it also a critical spirit is, is, is one that says, well I'm going to feel I'm only going to feel good if I can find someone I'm better than that, better than. It's at heart a very insecure place to be. Jesus offered was a security that's very different from that. To the, to the woman caught in adultery, as Jesus said, I don't condemn you. I don't condemn you. But go and leave your life, uh, life of sin. To the exploitative tax collector, the, the outcast who, who, who'd taken advantage of, of his position of power and, and no one loved. Jesus said, I, I'm, I'm, go I'm going to come to your house today. Just to the, those ordinary fishermen. Come and follow me and I'll make you something completely different. To those who knew Jesus, they, they, they realised they had a security that was based not on their past, but on what Jesus thought of them. On the way Jesus welcomed them and invited them in to become part of his new community. At that point, they were no longer dependent on their behaviour, the behaviour of others. They were no longer dependent on what other people said about them because they were who Jesus said they were, on the value that he put on them. And it's only, it's only when we grasp that, it's only when we grasp our value in his sight, 
The only way we grasp our value is, is the love that he puts on us. That we can be set free from criticising others. So may you discover that. If you haven't discovered that, I would love to uh, just chat to you and, and, and tell you more about it. Because that's the way to deal with a, with a critical spirit that bubbles up in so many of our hearts. God bless and I'll talk to you again soon.